Hi guys, it's Mrs. Bikarski, and I'm back with chapter four of Junie B. Jones and her big fat mouth. So, um, chapter four is called Dumb Ollie. So we'll see what this is about. Chapter three, uh, Junie B. had kind of an embarrassing situation on the bus, right? So something happened and mean Jim, I shouldn't call him mean Jim, but that's just what Junie B. calls him. I'm sure there's a reason that he's being um, not so nice to her all the time, but anyway, Jim was, Jim was not being very nice, was he? So that's where we left off in chapter three. Chapter four is called Dumb Ollie. So let's see what happens. It says, I got off the bus at my corner and then I run to my house speedy quick. Help, help, I'm in big trouble, I yelled to mother because I accidentally shot off my big fat mouth on the bus and now I have to paint and unlock stuff and save people from danger. And only what kind of stupid dumb job is that? Back here, called mother. Back here means the nursery. The nursery is the place where my new baby brother named Ollie lives. I ran there my very fastest. Mother was rocking Ollie in the rocking chair. He was a little bit sleeping. I need to talk to you very bad, I shouted some more, because I did a big fib and now I don't know how to get out of it. Just then, Ollie waked up. He started crying very much. Great, said my mother very groundly. Yeah, only sorry, but I'm upset here, I explained. Ollie screeched louder and louder. His voice sounded like a scratchy, sore throat. Mother put him on her lap, and then she rubbed the sides of her forehead with her fingers like this. That's because she had a migraine headache, I think. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait until I get the baby settled again, she said, still grumpy. Yeah, only I can't wait because mother butted in. Not now, Junie B. I'll be out to talk to you as soon as I can. Now please go. Then she pointed at the door. Pointing means O-U-T, out. Darn it, I said. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Because that dumb old baby takes up all of mother's time and he's not even that interesting. And here we have a picture. So. Here's Junie B coming home from school and she's yelling and wakes up baby Ollie. So mother is not too happy about that. So Junie B says he's not even that interesting. He doesn't know how to roll over or sit up or play Chinese checkers. I would like to take him back to the hospital, but mother said no. <laughs> um, and I'm sure she'll feel differently once he's a little bit older, huh? It says, after I left the nursery, I went outside in my front yard and then I sat in the grass all by myself and I played with a stick and another ant. Only this stupid ant bited me. And so I had to drop a rock on his head. Ooh, that's not very nice. Finally, my daddy's car came into the driveway and my heart got very happy. Daddy's home, daddy's home, hooray, hooray, I yelled. Then I ran to him and he picked me up and I gave him my most biggest hug. I'm very glad to see you, I said, because on Monday I have to dress up like what job I want to be, except for I accidentally said I'm going to paint and save people and carry lots of keys. Only what job is that? My daddy put me down and his eyebrows looked confused at me. Can we talk about this at dinner, he asked. No, I said, we have to talk right now because I've already waited all I can and I'm getting tension in me. Well, I'm afraid you're just going to have to wait a little while longer, said daddy, because right now I've got to see if your mother needs help with the baby. Then he did a kiss on my head and he walked right into the house. And guess what? Sometimes I wish Ollie never came to live with us. Aww. And that's the end of chapter four. I'm sure she doesn't really feel that way. I think she only really is saying that because she's a little bit nervous about what she's gonna say for job day. So I'm sure she loves her brother and doesn't really mean that. But sometimes when we get upset, don't we say things that we don't really mean, right? So that's the end of chapter four of Junie B. Jones and her big fat mouth, right? So again, her mouth, she's saying things she doesn't mean, right? She's saying things she shouldn't be saying. So maybe, throughout the book, we'll see her starting to get better at that kind of thing. Um, chapter five will be next time. I hope you guys have a great day today. Bye guys.